Hey everybody, welcome back and happy Tuesday. Uh, we're gonna get started with our morning message. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna skip over our rules today and we're gonna go right into our days of the week. So here's our calendar. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. Again, that is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. So we can count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is April the 7th. Um, below, I'm going to link to Starfall where we normally do our calendar. So if you want to go on Starfall and do make a calendar for yourself, you totally can. That's a great idea and a good use of time. All right, let's get started reading. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 7th. We will read an informational book about Asia. So today our read aloud is going to be about another continent, another one of our seven continents. This one is about Asia. Asia is the largest of the seven continents and has the most people on it. So this is going to be super good read aloud. Look for that after you listen to this video. We're also going to work on our digraphs. So Miss Hales will be posting more phonics videos about digraphs. So look out for those as well. And we're going to learn more about subtraction. So Mr. Fishpaw has been doing a great job making some really cool videos for us. Be sure to watch his videos too. All right. We are going to learn about a new text feature today, which is really cool. But before we do, yesterday we talked about um, key details and I showed some pajama pants and a story and my toothbrush and toothpaste and my little stuffed avocado. Those are my details and you guys had to guess what was my main topic. So if you guessed that my main topic was bedtime or going to bed, then you were correct because all of those items that I had supported my main topic, which is bedtime. So bedtime was my main topic. And then I had my story that I read at night, my toothbrush and toothpaste that I use at night, my pajama pants that I wear to bed and my stuffed animal. So all of those things were key details for our main topic and that was bedtime. So we're going to do another one of those tomorrow, but for today, we will also learn about a new text feature called headings. What is a heading? So first let's think back to the text features that we already know about. And remember text features are important because they help us understand what is happening in the text. So this was the text that we read yesterday. That just means the book. This was the book we read yesterday. What are some special text features that we remember? So this one we had pictures. Pictures are great text feature, photographs, because they teach us a lot of information about a book. And sometimes the author hasn't even written about them, but we can look at them and learn new things. Another text feature is words that are in bold. So we have worked a lot on words that are in bold. That means that the words are darker than the other words in the sentence. And if a word is in bold, we know that that means it's important and the author wants us to learn about it. We also know about glossaries. So a lot of the books that we've been reading have glossaries at the end of our book and they teach us about these new words. And oftentimes the glossary will teach you about the words that were in bold. So for today, we're gonna learn about a new text feature that is called headings. So headings introduce readers to different topics in the text. So let me show you what I mean. On this page, this part right up here in blue, those words, that's our heading. It says people of Europe. So headings and text features stand out from the rest of the text. So the words in a heading, they might be bigger than the other words on the page, or they might be written in bold or in a different color. So you can see from looking right here that this author has decided to write these words in blue and he also made them bigger than the rest of the text. So when you see things like that at the top of the page, that's called a heading. 
So a heading, what is it? It helps readers know what a section of the book is going to be about. So if this says people of Europe, then I know that all of this text, all of this section is going to be about people that live in Europe. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh, here's another good one. Places to see. So we know that there's our heading because it's in a, a different color. It's um, bigger than the rest of the text. And we know that all that's written after it is going to be about places to see in Europe. So we can use the heading to understand what is the main topic and the key details as the text as well. So here we have another one, land and water. So we know everything in this section until we get to the next heading is going to be about land and water. So this page is about land and water. 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 And then we get to another heading, Modern Marvels. So now we know that we're done talking about land and water and now we're learning about something new. So see if you can find a book around your house that has headings or go on Epic and see if you can pick an informational text. That's where you're gonna find these text features the most. Sometimes they might be in a storybook, but see if you can find an informational book either around your house or on Epic or just think about um, go back to the YouTube video where I read this and see if you can point out and find all of the headings. And remember, the headings tell us what we're going to learn about in that part of the text. Awesome work, you guys. We're going to keep working on that. Um, it will be a totally awesome Tuesday. We are going to have an awesome day. I know. Um, I can't wait to hear about how everybody is learning, what apps you're going on, um, all that jazz. Love Miss Arnold, Miss Hales, Mr. Fishpaw, Miss Emily, Miss Clark Wilson, Miss Grant. Everybody loves you. We are going to finish with our breathing. So take a nice deep breath and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Thumbs up if you're ready for the day. Sideways if you're not so sure. Thumbs down if something is really wrong. And if you're showing me a thumbs down, you need to find a grown up, politely ask them for help with whatever you need. If you need to use the bathroom, if you need to get a snack, whatever you need, um, go and very politely ask them. Make sure you're following all the rules and directions. And I look forward to seeing everybody later. Have a great day, guys.